This landscape, rarely seen from the air or on foot, this is Ivivik National Park. Located in the most northern part of Yukon, created as part of the Inuvaluits land claim in 1984. Very few people in the world get to experience this this very incredible and special place. Uh, and when they do, it's it's quite an exciting adventure. Closed last season because of COVID-19 restrictions, the park is open again. Pre-pandemic, just under 150 people came here each year. Right. Few from the north. We hadn't heard about Ivavik. And uh, I can't believe we haven't. This year, the only 23 visitors to the park's base camp are all from the Northwest Territories. Because of a special exemption allowing them to visit Yukon and return home without isolating. We just sent out the mass email to folks that we thought who might be interested. Right there, there's a wolf up here. Guys, there's a wolf up here. The park takes visitors on catered trips, giving them closer views of wildlife and breathtaking hikes. <laughs> Anuvia Look Alder Barbara Archie is eager to share her stories and skills. Last year we missed it. Yeah, nobody came out, so that was pretty hard. For Mark Frazier, the park's been a safe escape for him and his daughter. We often go south, like a lot of people do, when it, when it comes time to vacation. And to see my daughter's eyes light up when she's seen sheep or a wolf or, or just some of the views has been, it's been pretty amazing. Although border restrictions have prevented some visitors from traveling into Ivivik National Park this year, Parks Canada is hopeful that travelers from around the globe will be able to come next year. And more than a dozen visitors are already booked to see the spectacular landscape in 2022. Mackenzie Scott, CBC News, Ivivik National Park.